Good day, Nixers, and welcome to this lesson on multi-view projections. For the lesson outline, we will be discussing what is multi-view projections or multi-view drawings. All the topics leading to the understanding of multi-view projections will be discussed. And then how we will do each of the multi-view drawing. And then we will also give a sample of a drawing that represents multi-view projections. So if you are new to the channel, no worries, this is a continuation of the engineering drawing series as presented on this channel. If you are interested, previous videos are on the description for easier access. Now without further ado, let's start. To start our discussion on multi-view drawings, we refer to this diagram over here. Okay, so shown here below is the multi-view drawings. Okay, and if we trace back, we have here the multi-view projections, orthographic projections, parallel projections, and projection. What we have presented here is the flow of information that we need to learn in order for us to grasp how we will be able to draw these types of drawings, the multi-view projections. We start off with projection theory. It comprises the principles used to represent three-dimensional objects and structures graphically on two-dimensional media. What does this mean? Okay, so it means that if we have a three-dimensional object, we will be able to create representations of the three-dimensional objects on our drawing paper, which is a two-dimensional medium. Okay, it has only a width and a height, our drawing paper. When we talk about projections, there are two variables that needs to be considered. The first one is line of sight, or LOS, and then the second one is the plane of projection. Okay, so what are these? two variables. So on the parallel projection, okay, now what is parallel projection? As what you can observe here, the parallel projection is composed of parallel lines. Okay, as what you can see here, these lines, okay, the one with the arrow, are actually parallel to each other. Okay? So these lines are what we call also the line of sight, or LOS. We see here the lines emanating from different sources. Okay? So these lines is directed to the edges of our three-dimensional object. Okay. So from here towards the edge, from here towards the edge. Okay. So these are the lines of sight. It is an imaginary ray of light between an observer's eye and the object. So this is the lines of sight. And then the plane of projection, okay, it is an imaginary flat plane upon which the image created by the lines of sight is projected. So this is the plane of projection. It is found in between the observer and the object. And this is where we will draw the projection itself. What is orthographic projection? So knowing what is what is already parallel projection, okay, what is orthographic projection? So it says here, it is a parallel projection technique in which first the plane of projection is positioned between the observer and the object as what we have discussed a while ago. And second is, is perpendicular to the parallel lines of sight. This means that our plane of projection is perpendicular. It creates a 90 degree angle with our lines of sight for it to be referred to as an orthographic projection. We now proceed with what are multi-view projection. So it says here it is an orthographic projection for which number one, the object is behind the plane of projection. And second is that the object is oriented such that only two of its dimensions are shown. So let's have an example here for us to be able to see these two characteristics. So we have this three-dimensional object okay, and we have this plane of projection. And as what we can observe, okay, based on the definition, the R object is actually behind our plane of projection. What you can see, there is these lines of sights over here. And since the definition stated that this is an orthographic projection, it follows that these lines of sight is are actually perpendicular to this plane of projection. So every time the line of sight meet the plane of projection, we create or we mark it with a point. Okay? So these are the series of points where the lines of sight hits our plane of projection and these points will be crucial. We will now be interconnecting these points 
and we'll be using the appropriate line. Okay? So in this case, here we have we see the visible lines, okay, the hidden lines, and also the center line being appropriately used okay, for the purposes of this three-dimensional object. Okay, so the hidden lines will actually represent the hole here. And then the center line for the center of the circle. And then this one, this line over here is the visible line to represent this one. Okay, so as what you can see, we have only two dimensions, only the width and the height of our object. We don't include the depth. Okay? So it says here the object is oriented such that only two of its dimensions are actually shown. So every time we have a multi-view projection, only two of the dimensions are actually emphasized. Okay, the other dimension will not be included. This plane, we call it the frontal plane of projection. Okay, and what and the projection that is being created is what we call the front view. Okay, so what are the other multi-view projections? We also have the, okay, the top view and the right side view. Okay, so in this case, what is shown here is the top view. Okay, when looking at the top, so this will be the highlighted part. Okay, so we have the depth, we have the width, but we don't include the height. Okay, so there are only two dimensions included here. As what you can see, the appropriate lines are used. We have the visible lines and also this center line. So the dimensions included and the extension lines are also included for this view. Now next, we have also what we call the right side view. Okay? So the right side view is when we are looking here, so this will be projected. These are the lines of sight. This is the plane of projection. By the way, we call the plane of projection for the right side view as the profile plane of projection. So again, these hidden lines represent the hole. Okay? This is the center line. We have the height of our for three-dimensional object, and we have also the depth. So it says here that it, the multi-view drawings is generally composed of three orthographic projections. That's the term multi, which includes front view, top view, and right side view. But aside from this one, we also have what we call, okay, so we call them the six principal views to include the front view, top side view, and right side view that was already discussed a while ago, and these additional views. We call them the rear view, bottom view, and left side view. Basically, what this means is the rear view is just okay, at the back of the front view. So this is our front view, at the back of that, this one, the back, we have the rear view. If we have our top view, the opposite to that will be the bottom view, okay, when we are looking down. Okay. And then right side view, the opposite of that will be the left side view. And this, is, this can be more understood if we turn our attention to a glass box. If this three-dimensional object is actually inside a box made of glass, then we will be able to see these six principal views. So we will be able to see the front view over here in this glass, up view over here, the right side view over here. If we look at this plane of projection, we will be able to see the left side view. If we'll be looking at this plane of projection, we'll be able to see the rear view. And at the bottom, we will also be able to see the bottom view. So that's basically how visualize this one. This is the six principal views. If we unfold each of the faces of our glass box, so this will be the different views that we'll be seeing. Okay, the top, the front, the right side, the left side, the rear, and the bottom view. Now this one is actually a European standard of unfolding the six principal views or our glass box. Okay, so shown in this slide is a sample of a multi-view drawing. So this is its uh, three-dimensional object. Okay, and these are the six principal views associated with this three-dimensional object. Now one thing to notice here, the errors that I'd like to highlight on this particular uh, drawing okay, is that this particular three-dimensional object is not actually drawn in an isometric manner. Meaning this one does not create a 120 20 degree angle with this line over here 
and this line does not create a 120 degree angle with this one and also this one okay it creates a 90 degree angle instead of 120 degrees so as we all know for isometric drawings it must be 120 degrees 120 degrees and another 120 degrees for it to be isometric iso meaning equal and metric meaning in measure in this case the angle measurements must be equal so it's 120 120 120 so this is an oblique projection okay but nevertheless the views that were presented here is actually correct no? so it actually uses the different types of lines okay the hidden lines okay for the top view as we can see the visible line is this one so for this one and then the hidden lines for the okay is embedded lines over here so this is the top view the bottom view so the difference between the top view and the bottom view is that if you are looking from here okay, at the bottom you will actually see the visible line okay so that is why this is solid lines over here unlike here that is this is broken and then we have the front view okay so looking at here okay so we have the front view and also the rear view that's what we can see the front view and the rear view or back view is actually the same Okay, the same hidden lines position and the same measurement okay. and then right side view okay if we look take a look at here this is the right side view and the other one will be the left side view so the right side and the left side view have the same okay, form now one thing to improve upon on this particular drawing of the different views or the multi-view drawings is that it does not include the dimensions so as what you have a while ago for the top view it emphasized the two dimensions okay for the top view it is the depth and the width for the front view it is the height and the width okay and for the right side view it is the height and the depth okay so these these are the things that must be improved so this one this is not isometric this one utilizes the type, type of lines but it does not include the dimension Okay, which should have been included okay so for the measurement this one measures one centimeter okay one centimeter over here from here up to here it's two centimeters then from here up to here is one centimeter this one is four centimeters and this length over here is six centimeters so those are the measurements for this particular isometric drawing okay so that ends the lesson on multi-view drawings so as a summary we have tackled about what is multi-view drawings particularly on how to create these drawings by way of understanding what projection theory is what parallel projection is what orthographic projection is until we reach the multi-view projection okay so and then we also emphasize the two variables that are very important in projections we have the line of sight and also the plane of projection and then next thing is that we emphasize also that there are different multi-view drawings we have the top view right side view front view okay and also we include other three of the six principal drawings or principal views we also have the rear view the bottom view and also the left side view